A long time ago, in a country far, far away, I lived right here, Yalara, the resort town next to Uluru Katajuta National Park, home of this massive sandstone monolith Uluru, sacred to the indigenous Australians in the heart of Australia's arid red centre. And this is where I helped my beautiful reptilian friend Dolly, the bearded dragon. But there is something very strange and scary happening to this spectacular native Australian species. Okay, it's not Godzilla scary, but scary nevertheless. Hey everyone, I'm Greg and welcome to this episode of Greg the Artivist, a channel dedicated to transforming that dystopian outlook we have of the future when we're talking about our changing climate to a positive narrative of the incredible opportunities presented to us and sharing the stories of those everyday people embracing the challenges that we face to help create a better world for all life. And I hope that along the way, I will inspire you to get involved. So if this sounds interesting to you, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell for future updates. So why has my stunning, spiky and very fast running and beautiful friend Dolly the Bearded Dragon have to do with our changing climate? Well, just before we jump back to Dolly's story, I have a question to help me make more interesting climate related content important to you. As we strive towards living in a net zero world by 2050, this means we will have to find new ways on how we produce just about everything. And this will have an impact on how we go about living our everyday lives, from what we drink, to the food that we eat, to the clothes that we wear. And I would love to know what thing is important to your everyday life now. Is it simply that relaxing glass of wine after after a hard day's work or the holidays that you plan to take. All of this is going to be impacted one way or another. So please drop your answer in the comment box below. I would really love to explore all of these topics with you in this year's videos to give us an idea of what our lives will look like in a net zero world and beyond. So life in the outback is pretty harsh and it was during the onset of this particular sandstorm one day that covered the area in a thick red blanket of sand flying through the air, I discovered huddled up by my glass front door an injured bearded dragon. Now, not sure what to do, I opened the door and it crawled inside and cuddled up on the rug on the floor. Now, having called the wildlife emergency services, they suggested leaving it there with some water and vegetables for it to regain some energy until they were able to come out and take a look at it. Now, during this time, I dubbed her Dolly the Dragon. Native to Australia, bearded dragons are not an uncommon sight for this part of the country as they have been around since the time of dinosaurs. Their name comes from their beard-like spines on their chin and they use these spines as a defense mechanism when they're feeling threatened or attacked by predators and they puff up and display these spines to scare off potential attackers. And interestingly and something that I certainly didn't know is that they are one of only two species of lizards that can actually change color. And bearded dragons are actually very sociable creatures. They've become really popular pets around the world as they enjoy spending time with their human friends. They build a really special relationship with their owners and they're often very affectionate. But what is this not Godzilla, but nevertheless scary thing happening with bearded dragons? Well, our changing climate is impacting their gender. Scientists have discovered our changing climate is reversing the sex of bearded dragons. Our rising temperatures are changing how this species gender is determined. And this is a first because previously the dragon's gender was dependent from its genes. And it's the male chromosome that is impacted, meaning that in time, females will become the dominant gender. And as our changing climate continues to impact temperature to a critical level, Dolly species could very well become extinct due to the lack of males, which has never happened before. So who's helping to protect these species? Well, Dolly hasn't yet made the endangered species list, but The Guardian reports that the largest analysis to date on the state of the world's reptiles warns that 1,800 reptile species are fighting for survival and one in five reptile species will face extinction with a devastating and a huge knock-on effect on the planet. Now, there are many organizations like Zoo Victoria in Australia who weirdly declined to speak with me on this video as they opt to speak on their own channel, but nevertheless, they have this important mission which is fighting extinction. And they have programs for a variety of 27 unique Australian animals they are protecting or fighting to protect 
tech, sorry. And donations can be made via their website to help support their mission. And I will leave a link in the description box below. However, you can find an organization in your area to really support these you know, important conservation and protection projects for our wildlife. I'd like to quickly take this opportunity to thank Climate Watcher for their support, their very generous support since my last video, by making a small donation using the thanks button below this video. And you too can show your support in helping me create more content, no matter how small. Each donation goes a long way from the licensing of the images to the music to the huge amount of time and effort that goes into making each of these videos, and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. And on that note, please leave your comments on today's video and what you would like to see in the future in the comment box below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, please subscribe to the channel and click on that bell for future updates. So please take care and remember, whether or not you believe in climate change or that it will impact you in your lifetime, decisions are being made right now that will impact you one way or another. So please, I encourage you to join into the conversation and help shape a brighter future for all. See you next time.